Hi, Odelia. <laughs> Welcome back. This is uh, Odelia Goldberg Esquire. She is uh, an amazing attorney here in Fort Lauderdale, helping all of the poor souls fleeing the Northeast, <laughs> coming to the paradise of South Florida. Um, so actually, today, we're going to talk a little bit about that process, right? Yeah. Yeah. So... I guess the first question, Odelia, um, is it different to buy property in New York, New Jersey, other states than it is in Florida? Yes. You know, these processes are state specific, so they differ greatly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so in Florida, yeah, keep going. Uh, <laughs> you want to expand upon that? How, how are they different? <laughs> uh, in Florida, uh, the realtors do a lot of the contract work, which sometimes differs from other places. Um, also in Florida, the offer uh, that the realtor creates becomes the contract. You know, sometimes uh, we're used to getting into an agreement to get into an agreement. Uh, however, in Florida, the offer that gets signed becomes our agreement. That's it. Now we're in contract. Um, usually we use a very standardized contract, so it doesn't get amended or changed very often. You know, sometimes we cross out a section or two, but by and large, the contract is standard and uh, it doesn't get edited too much. Again, the realtors are the ones that are drafting these agreements. Uh, sometimes the lawyers review them. Uh, sometimes we, we get them afterwards. Uh, either way, everything, every change that, every ha that ever happens to a contract is done through an addendum, right? So we never have email changes to the agreement. Even if we're changing a buyer's name, for example, if someone was to buy it through a trust or through an LLC in the middle of the process, if we decide to do that, then we would create an addendum and make that change because we need to document everything. So those are the standardized processes that title companies, attorneys, realtors, we're all pretty much on board with. Uh, but some of the nuances within those contracts are a little bit unique to Florida because the escrow that is currently held by the attorney or the title company uh, is really the only remedy if there's a breach in the contract. Let's say the buyer defaults or the seller defaults, or for some reason we can't close. The only thing in play is going to be that escrow amount. We don't have any additional damages or any additional, you know, that's it. And usually that dollar amount is about $1,000, $5,000, maybe $10,000 it's usually a nominal amount to show some skin in the game, unless it's a commercial purchase and then, you know, the, uh, those dollars could range. Uh, but for home purchases, we usually put a thousand, five thousand, or maybe ten thousand uh, dollars in held in escrow. And that's the only amount that's in place should this deal go south, right? Um, the other thing to note is that in Florida, uh, we don't need a lawyer. You know, a title company could absolutely represent you and handle, well, they wouldn't represent you, but they would handle the closing and they could do both sides, right? You could get a title company and they could do the buyer side and the seller side and just facilitate the transaction. Although it's probably not ideal because sometimes, you know, things happen. Um, so my, uh, yeah, my, <laughs> recommendation would be to get a title company with an attorney there, right? Um, yeah, I was gonna I would, say, is there is there a reason that, I guess, why would you just want the title company to do it? Why would you not want an attorney, since you are dealing with a contract, right, for a pretty significant transaction, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many times people buy and sell homes. I've bought one in my entire life and I'm still in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some people are more, um, have more transactions and some, but you're right. Uh, I would say that you probably would want an attorney involved in this transaction. But Florida, you know, uh, we're kind of uh, one of those places where we don't necessarily require people to have an attorney. So that's okay. Yeah. Um, another difference is that um, we have a 10 day inspection period, right? Uh, by default, it's seven days. Sometimes we extend it to 10 days. Uh, a lot of times people uh, think that they get into an as-is contract. That's what it's called, the as-is contract. And they say, but, well, but I want an inspection. And all the as contract means is that the seller is selling it as-is. So how it is. That's how I bought my house. Yep. <laughs> so if the inspection shows any issues or any items, the seller isn't required uh, to correct them or to fix them. And the buyer could either 
uh, purchase the property or get out of the agreement. So that inspection period, whether it's seven days, 10 days, one day, that's really an opportunity for the buyer to get out of the contract for any reason. We don't have to give any explanation. Uh, within that inspection period, we, the buyer could just exit, um, get their escrow deposit back and no harm, no foul. We usually, for that reason, wait until after the inspection period to order the title and the lien search because we don't want to do those you know, transactions and then the buyer cancels. So we do wait until the inspection period is over to start ordering documents. And uh, there's an HOA, uh, Homeowners Association, then we would want to request an estoppel from them to know what's going on with, the, with this unit and the HOA in general. And that usually takes some time. So it's a lot of juggling of dates, um, knowing when things are going to be available, how long a lien search in this municipality is going to take versus a different municipality. Um, so, you know, a lot of times we back into our closing date, you know, I'll get a contract and it'll say November 10th. And I'm like, oh my God, you people are <laughs> killing me. You know, they want like a 10 day inspection period and we're closing November 10th. Uh, you know, we can make magic, absolutely, right? We have to <laughs> make it magic. That's what we have to do as professionals a lot of times. <laughs> make it magic. We have to have some, some difficult conversations about expectations and, you know. Setting expectations I is important. Yeah, definitely. Especially real estate because it's not like you're talking about all these things that have to happen. And, I mean, since COVID, I would imagine everything seems to just take longer, right? Does anything go as quickly as it used to? It, for me, it doesn't. Everything takes so much longer on, in the tax world, at least. It feels like uh, I can't imagine real estate is better than it was before. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. <laughs> uh, real estate is a little bit tricky because we've got a situation with volume, right? Uh, everybody wants, you know, Florida is a good place to both live and die. So everybody's trying to come down here. <laughs> Uh, so we have a situation with volume now. However, what I will say is that my probate judges have never been more efficient ever. I used to have to wait like nine months, 10 months for the probate judges to sign my orders. And ever since they started working from home, it was like two days, three days, which kind of pissed me off, honestly, because I was like, what have you been doing all this time? But that's neither here nor there. So the probate <laughs> is way very funny though. <laughs> yeah pissed me off. I was like, yeah, you know, all these years, but uh, real estate is real estate. You know, you know, hopefully we can uh, grease some of the wheels and uh, things happen faster for people if we need to, right? Sometimes we go in person if we need to, to the municipality and get that lean search going. So yeah, there's ways to do it. So, okay. I have a question. We have um, many people who are moving from out of state, right? And I have heard that there are people who are just like, putting in offers, sight unseen, never co even come here. How does that process work if the person's not like physically in Florida and they want to purchase this property from out of state? Is it any different? Yeah, and that's okay. You know, uh, like I said, do have that inspection period, which would mean that you've got a contract, you you put in a thousand, five thousand dollars in escrow with an attorney, hopefully and um, you can't come down to see it right away. Well, that's okay because you do have that 10 day inspection period and you can get out of the contract for any reason, right? So hopefully you come down and you take a look and you say, yeah, this is for me, uh, but it doesn't have to happen. All of our closings could be mail away, right? So we could email the documents, even the mortgage, even the loan, um, and then they sign where they're at. Uh, they FedEx it to me that same day and we could do the mail away closing. So we've been remote with our closings um, for, you know, for at least 20 years. So it hasn't been such a big deal. Uh, the probate stuff also was always remote. You know, everything that we did, we electronically e-filed to the court. We never had to go in person unless we wanted to see the judge and get him to sign our order. Um, and then the state planning is obviously always in person because we need witnesses and notaries and you know we're tree killers in that regard. <laughs> yeah, some things some things translate well to the digital, touchless mm -hmm. world, and some things just don't. Um, is there any like particular thing that people who are coming from New York should watch out for? Like maybe there's something that you see that's super different here than it is there, and kind of throws people off something they're not expecting yeah sometimes i see 
people wanting to use their New York attorneys uh, for closings down here. And it's done a little bit differently up there, right? Like I said, our contracts here are very standard and our deeds are very standard and we don't amend or alter the legal description. Um, and I find myself having to do a little bit of like um, explanation that I wouldn't have to do if I didn't deal with uh, an attorney from another area and just in saying, well, this is how we do it down here, you know? I'm this is how we do it in Florida. I know there, we have a lot of that. <laughs> it's a little well, different than you do it in New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people come down, they have their own advisors, and, you know, we create right. the documents, and we create uh, what we need to, and they run it by them, and then they just are like, what is this? This is a bribe. <laughs> what is this? What, $10 consideration? You know, all of our deeds have <sighs> $10. This is how we do it, and they always take issue with that. And they're like, the purchase price, and so I try to hedge that, and I say, you're going to see the $10. This is how we do it. You know, look up all the yeah. deeds in Florida, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, some of that you know it's great to have legal advice and you know professional advice but those people need to kind of stay in their lane Ooh, stay in your lane new york attorneys eh, unless you're going to come move down here and learn our ways i guess <laughs> uh you know a new york purchase I never start picking apart a new york contract and, you know, with, maybe i don't know what i'm doing this sounds right. you know yeah there's ways. right right okay so it's almost Halloween, right? So in honor of that, do you have any horror stories of like purchases gone super awry? You don't have to use any names. <laughs> Luckily for me, we don't have so many, thank God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Uh, so I don't have very many stories of things that bad. We've been actually, um, you know, when buyers and sellers come to the table, usually they're acting in, you know, will, and we're, we're trying to accomplish something together. And usually we can. Of course, there are those times where people just can't seem to get it together. And in those instances, we try really hard to make uh, everybody at least um, not pissed off enough to sue anyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the goal, you know. We can't. That's the goal. Like, stay out of court <laughs> when you're trying to buy real estate. <laughs> I'm not um, a litigation attorney, too. So, you know, if it, it, I think there's only been one or two contracts that, you know, I had to recommend to a litigation attorney. And then after those oh. litigation attorneys tell them their fees, right? Um, <laughs> they managed to work it out. <laughs> it's over $5,000 or 10000 you know, it's never even been 10000 You're fighting even 1000 or $5,000. So it's more of a principal issue. You're like, damn right, it. Right all this time and you know right. here I little really, ego get in the way there or here I was you know uh without any other buyers and I held this property for you and now your mortgage yeah. Fell. Yeah. you know it's just yeah. small dollar amount it doesn't make sense to you know fork over twenty thousand dollars to a litigation attorney to go fight to, it to get that asshole you know right <laughs> Well, maybe, you know, if you don't have any horror stories, maybe that's like a great endorsement if you're trying to buy property. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you should go to Hotel, yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't have nightmare scenarios to share with us, so. Very hard to make the deal happen, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, Odelia, thank you so much. You are always so fantastic to have wealth of knowledge. And if mm -hmm. anybody is trying to move down here, trying to buy property, and it's crazy market. I don't know if it's slowed down at all. It doesn't seem like it. It still seems like every day that they can't build it fast enough now. Uh, yeah. But if you need help buying your real estate, you gotta give Odelia a call. She'll she'll make it happen without a horror story. <laughs> it's so nice to be here. I really appreciate the time. You're amazing. Oh, I love You're it. amazing. <laughs> All right, everybody. And hopefully we'll be back pretty regularly now that we've, we're out of tax season <laughs> until the yeah. next tax season. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Woo. All right. Thank you, Odelia. You got it. Feel good. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>